I got my nickname from when I first started to play, which was uh, on the streets of uh, New York about 12, 13 years back. And at that time, that's all I ate was a falafel sandwich. And I was playing backgammon every day. I've been playing backgammon for about uh, 20 years now. And uh, actually, my results are pretty uh, high standard level uh, since uh, 2000. Well, lately I've had good results, and, uh, but, but I think that uh, I've been playing tournaments worldwide for several years now and I've been getting better and better. And what have you actually had to do to get that good? It's just like studying a, you know, any new thing in your life that you want to do. Uh, I spent a lot of hours playing, watching, and uh, you know, it's a sort of like a pattern recognition thing. I've spent so much time seeing things that I've got to a point where I actually mastered uh, a lot of it. So the study and the practice is important, and the more you practice, the luckier you get, right? It's like in chess, you have to study uh, like uh, each field of the game, like uh, the openings, uh, the endings, and the middle games. You have to uh, systemize uh, your thinking and uh, you have a lot of uh, things to, to learn by heart, like match equity and all this stuff. The most difficult is not to learn and, and to understand. The most difficult is to apply what you really know. And which do you think is more important, the checkers or the doubling cube? Uh, the players at the higher level play the cube uh, much, much better than the players uh, at the lower levels, while the checkers are not that far apart in general. London, November 2007, first World Series of Backgammon event. How do you feel about this? I feel great about it. I mean, uh, London is a great city. I have uh, many good backgammon playing friends in London as well. It's a great place to be in, and I'm looking forward to seeing the very new casino very much. And you have all these televised events taking, uh, taking place, and uh, people are adding money. You're getting new internet service all the time which is, I mean, it, it's like you have a big synergy effect. I mean, events are going to pop up everywhere. The ultimate skill games player on the planet at the moment is Great Dane Gus Hansen, a huge money winner on the poker circuit, but also widely regarded as a truly talented, world-class backgammon player. Gus joins the WSOB team and will connect with John Clark in the commentary box. John Clark caught up with him in London the first stop on season two of the WSOB. Gus is a super uh, player and a super, uh, he's like a genius actually. I don't know all, but he has a kind of a gift. He was pretty fascinating in his stories. Gus, welcome to the team. Thank and you. And particularly, welcome back to your roots. As we know, there are so many uh, highly successful poker players who started in backgammon. You're one of them. You're part of the uh, backgammon brain drain uh, from backgammon to poker. And it's rather obvious, I think, that uh, the skills gained from backgammon translate very well into poker. You mentioned analytical uh, dimensions. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it seems to me, not to put down poker players as a general, but it definitely seems like some of the, like you mentioned, some of the top backgammon players, they're really strong in the analytical aspect mm -hmm. of the game of poker. Simply, they're used to analyzing situation in backgammon, just over the boards, see what's going on, and just Doing that has been helped to make a lot of good decisions around the poker table. Right. And is there anything that you do specifically to increase your mental stamina? Uh, I think that uh, kind of comes from playing. I mean, if you're used to playing, I mean, uh, it's like practice makes perfect, or maybe not perfect, but at least uh, improves your game. So, I mean, just playing a lot helps you think more clearly when you're playing long hours. For the people at home who perhaps haven't played too much backgammon, but they're interested in getting into it, 
What advice would you give to the beginning players? Well, for the beginning player who's just started out in the backgammon world, it's important to play a lot. I mean, backgammon is a game of experience. You really have to play a lot. Be familiar with the board, be familiar with the different positions around the board. And really, you shouldn't be afraid to, to try something crazy, try out different moves and see if they work out. Uh, just maybe they work out because it was the right move. And if not, made a mistake. But it's usually easy to learn from your mistakes. So really, play a lot. You'll definitely get better. And you really need to practice to become a winner. We've learned a lot. Well, I certainly have. Here in Cannes, the 2007 Riviera Cup is in its final stages. The empty husks of those players who failed to make the grade wander the playing room considering their next move. Was it the bad luck, bad preparation, or bad play? For the professional player, a bad day at the office can really hurt, physically, mentally, and financially. But there's always the next game. In the meantime, I'm going to catch up with Gus and John for some free lessons and start preparing for the WSOB UK Masters in November. Whether you make it there through online qualifiers or buy-in, I hope to see you there. This is Jesse Cantrell reporting for the World Series of Backgammon.